Hello everyone, my name is Tamala Jones and I will be discussing um, the EdTech tools that I chose for my EdTech training seminar. So during this educational technology professional development training seminar, we will explore various educational technology tools that you may use to enhance your classroom experience for yourself and your students. EdTech improves student engagement through visual information, interactivity, accessibility, and socialization. Educational technology can also enhance the classroom experience by supporting an inclusive classroom environment. So my EdTech training seminar is a two-day seminar. So I'll read to you the itinerary for the next few days. During this two-day training seminar, we will explore the following educational technology tools. Day one, we will explore Edpuzzle, Quizlet, Teaching Channel, and Smartboard. And on day two, we will explore Flipgrid, Canva, and Kahoot. During this seminar, we will explore the various edtech tools I believe we should adopt as a school or district, how to use each tool, how the tools promote student engagement and improve student learning, the viability of each tool and the financial impact of adapting such tools and concerns around digital citizenship and ethics. Since I chose uh, seven tools for this seminar, um, and this video should be between five to 10 minutes, I'm just gonna discuss um, the different tools that I did choose. And um, I'll also discuss uh, their financial impact just to keep it simple, I won't go into all the different facets I actually wrote about um, in my training seminar paper. During this seminar, educators will be divided into groups of four in order to participate in active learning of the EdTech tools. Each educator will be provided a laptop, computer, and tablet to explore how the tools work. There will also be a break period at the midpoint of the seminar each day for lunch and open discussion. Refreshments will be served. Educators may use this time to eat and mingle with fellow colleagues to discuss what they have learned and what EdTech tools they are currently implementing into their classroom. So um, for the sake of this video, I won't go into like the different training activities um, that I wrote about. So um, as I stated earlier, I'll just talk about the different EdTech tools that I chose and that I did. So starting on day one, the first um, EdTech tool we'll discuss is Edpuzzle. Edpuzzle is an online video editing informative assessment tool that lets you cut, crop, and organize educational videos. Edpuzzle enhances instructional practices by allowing you to engage directly with your students on the subject matter. <clears throat> Excuse me. It also has the capacity to offer assessments based on the content. Edpuzzle is a modern platform that's engaging for students, but it's also very easy to use for teachers. It's even crammed full of curriculum-specific content to further help in teacher progress with students. I'll just read a little bit about how it promotes uh, student engagement. Edpuzzle promotes student engagement and improves student learning through its interactive videos and interval uh, quiz questions and maintain students' attention by asking content-related questions at varying times through the video, which the student must, must answer correctly to move on to the next stage. So as far as the financial impact, um, they have three different packages. So the first is the basic uh, package, which is free, and then they have the pro teacher package, which is $12.50 per month. And then they have custom pricing for schools and districts. The next tool I'll discuss is Quizlet. Quizlet is a fantastic tool that can be used to create quizzes for in-person and remote learning, which makes building and assessing quick and easy. Quizlet enhances instructional practices by offering adaptive learning to suit your students. Quizlet also offers a huge range of subjects and question styles, from visual study materials to fill in the blank games and plenty more. According to Quizlet, 90% of students who use it report higher grades. And 
in as far as a, a financial impact. Quizlet also has a few different packages. So they have the basic package, which is free to use. And then they have Quizlet Plus, which is $35.99 a year, or that equals out to about $3 per month. And you get some cool uh, like little features with that package, um, which is multiple choice options for your quizzes. You can track student progress, adapt, quiz it live, organize classes. <clears throat> that version has no ads in it. Um, you can add custom images and audio and rich text formatting and create detailed diagrams. They also have an offline app. Um, at, at this time, but during the first day would be when we take our break and have some refreshments so that teachers can um, mingle with fellow colleagues and discuss uh, what they've learned so far in the seminar. And um, they can also discuss what ed tech tools they're currently implementing in their own classroom. So after lunch, the next ed tech tool that we would discuss is the teaching channel. The teaching channel is a video-based online professional development community that, enhan that enhances instructional practices by allowing teachers to watch, share, and learn new techniques to foster student growth. The teaching channel platform is easy to navigate and outlined with functionalities that far exceed those of traditional pro professional development programs. The courses and videos focus on a huge range of topics and are available on demand through the platform. The video library consists of in-depth videos featuring real teachers that can be sorted by categories, including engagement, classroom management, technology in the classroom, and more. So the teaching channel is really great, especially for people like me who are new to education. Shows you real live videos of teachers and different things um, that you can do uh, for lessons and for students. So the financial impact of adopting uh, this tool to the school is for three months, it's $39.99. For six months, it's $69.99. And then they have a package for 12 months, uh, which is the year for $99.99. So I believe it's definitely worth it, especially um, as I stated for new teachers. So the last ed tech tool that we would talk about on day one is the smart board which is one of my favorites. Um, a smart board is a brand of interactive whiteboard. An interactive whiteboard allows you to uh, project an image and interact with it by writing on it or moving it around. The board is connected to a computer and works with a projector. The projector displays what is open on the computer. And rather than using a mouse or keyboard, the smart board is a touch screen, which allows you and your students to manipulate anything on the screen using your fingers or a smart board pen. It is similar to how you would use a tablet or iPad. Special pins are included to make writing in different colors quick and easy. Smartboard enhances instructional practices by increasing student engagement and enhancing front board abilities for the educator. For the educator. Sorry, excuse me. So, financial impact of adopting this tool to the school, this is probably one of the more pricier ones. Um, smart boards are very costly, running anywhere from $1,000 to $6,000, depending on the name brand of the board. And generic interactive whiteboards um, have a lower price point. So it just all depends on the school and uh, what they look for. So that concludes um, day one of the training seminar. And then we would come back for day two. And on day two, the first ed tech tool that we will discuss is Flipgrid. Flipgrid enhances instructional practices by using video to create an open platform of discussion and learning that doesn't require a physical classroom to get your students involved. Flipgrid is a powerful homework-based application for students to use with each other. Flipgrid is designed to allow students to speak openly to their peer group without the fear that might constrict their responses in a classroom setting. Students can re-report responses, removing the pressure of answering in class on the spot. It's a great tool for use when learning remotely. So Flipgrid is really good for those students in the classroom who are kind of shy, 
like to note, like, to, you know, like, raise your hand in class and be, like, the center of attention in class. Because, like, with Flipgrid, they can uh, browse through the lesson, and then when they go to create their video, um, they can do it when they're comfortable. They can re-record it as many times um, as they need to. And Flipgrid, uh, as far as the financial impact, is completely free. So that's really great for, um, that would be a great tool for them. So the next tool is Canva. Canva is one of my favorite ed tech tools. Canva is an online graphic designing tool with several functions and features that even beginners can use. Canva enhances instructional practices by allowing educators and students to create fascinating designs and diagrams. It is specially made for people who are not graphic designers and who cannot invest in hefty amounts to get professional designs or use an expensive program such as Photoshop. Educators and students can use Canva for designing anything. They can create custom designs from scratch or choose from different content types uh, that it offers. So Canva offers a bunch of different price programs. They have a, um, a program that's free and then they have their pro program, which is $120 a year. And then they have their enterprise program which is for a minimum of 25 people. So this would be more ideal for like a group of people like a school. And that starts at $30 a month through $1,500 a month, I guess, depending upon how many people are using um, the program. So at this time, um, during day two, we would have another break uh, with refreshments for the educators. So please use this time to enjoy refreshments and mingle with fellow colleagues to discuss what you have learned thus far in the seminar and what ed tech tools you are currently implementing in your classroom. Um, so after that short break slash lunch, um, we will go on to our next uh, ed tech tool, tool, which is Kahoot. And Kahoot is a game-based learning platform that enhances instructional practices by making it easy to create, share, and play learning games or trivia quizzes in minutes. Kahoot is fun in classrooms and at home. Educators can create learning games using different formats, videos, and diagrams, uh, which increases student engagement. Students can play independently or in groups. So Kahoot is nice because like not only can they play in the classroom with their peers, they can also uh, play at home, which is definitely a great and then as far as the financial impact, Kahoot has like tons of packages. So I'll just name a few of them. So we Starter, 360 Standard, 360 Presenter, 360 Pro, 360 Pro Max, <laughs> um, 360 Pro for Teams, uh, 360 Spirit, 360 Spirit Premium, a bunch of different you know, packages that you can sort through and um, choose. But most of them range from $10 a month to $19 a month. And then also with Kahoot, if you have like a larger group, such as um, a school where there's going to be a bunch of educators and teachers using it, um, you can get that custom pricing with them too. So I didn't go into like the different activities um, that I created for the teachers to learn how to utilize these ed tech tools. But basically, um, most of my activities are teachers um, coming together in groups and creating like, for example, for Quizlet, I had them create like a short quiz, create a few flashcards on there just so they can get like an idea of how to use it. Um, for example, for the smart board tool. I had them watch a really cool uh, video that Smartboard created showing like all the different things that you can do on the Smartboard. Um, uh, for the teaching channel, I had them go onto a mandated teaching channel account and view three different videos from educators on the platform. And um, on the teaching channel, you can leave uh, time feedback on people's videos, so I would have them go um, leave time feedback on educators' videos and then just practice adding um, some educators 
to their favorites list. So a lot of fun, you know, activities that I would have uh, teachers do together just so they can get a hang of using all of these different ed tech tools. So finally, I want to thank you for um, uh, attending this uh, very short <laughs> explanation of my seminar, which is way longer than this, but I tried to keep it brief. Um, thank you for attending my professional development seminar on various educational technology tools, which can be used to enhance your classroom experience. I hope you have I hope I have introduced you to a few new tools that you can utilize in your classrooms. Um, please take time to take a short survey letting administration know which ed tech tools you believe we should implement into our school slash district based on viability and price. Thank you. So I would just have the teachers take a short survey based on everything you know that I um, presented to them during these past two days um, and just let um, administrators know which one they would like to see be used in um, their classrooms. So thank you again um, and everyone have a great day.